What up, boxing fans? This is Black Vengeance 28. I want to come at you guys and talk about my thorough disgust of Jim Lampley, Larry Merchant, HBO. Um, you know, I, I brought HBO up a lot in my videos, and <clears throat> I know it's starting to sound like I'm, I'm just, you know, basically badgering these guys. But, you know, I'm a firm believer that if you deserve an ass whipping, you deserve an ass whipping. You take it like a man and shut up. And to me, Jim Lampley, Larry Merchant, and the whole HBO boxing crew deserve an ass whipping. Uh, whether that be verbally, um, you know, or <laughs> you know, or no, you know, financially, they do. Um, and and after watching the fight game, which was supposed to be a completely unbiased show, as per Jim Lampley's, um, you know, promotion videos before the gym, the fight game aired. I'm thoroughly done with HBO boxing. Thoroughly done. Finished. I will not or no, no longer comment about HBO and their boxing crew. I will no longer bring up Jim Lampley's name because, I see, I thoroughly believe that whether it's good or bad, when you talk about an individual, you give that individual some sort of uh, leg up in the eyes of the media. And so, therefore, I will no longer waste my time. Like I said, I would no longer waste my time on the Mayweather and Pacquiao bout before Pacquiao got his ass laid out. I'm going to sit here and say, first and foremost, this will be the last time I bring up anything about HBO, their boxing staff, and uh, how they promote fighters. And it's a shame because, you know, as we know, the good brother Adrian Broner is up and coming, so he's going to have a lot of fights on HBO. But you know what? I will from now on be streaming those fights. Um, and I will make sure that I stream them from different boxing commentators. I will give them no respect. I will show them no acknowledgement. For them to disrespect guys like Sergio Martinez, Andre Ward, Mike Alvarado, Bam Bam Rios. You know, guys who this year, in my opinion, has given us far greater and more exciting fights than Nonito Donaire. And no disrespect to Nonito Donaire. He worked his ass off. He beat Arce handedly. He beat a guy who was willing to engage. But this man fought tomato cans prior to that this year. And he could not put them away. He put them away late in fights or he got decisions. I don't want to hear this about this man being the greatest fighter of 2012. That was complete bullshit. If you guys aren't, un aren't awake now, what is it going to take? They forced Manny Pacquiao down our throats for years, for years. And now they're getting ready to do it with yet again, I hate to say it, another Filipino fighter and bring it to race. But you know what? Again, another Filipino fighter is now going to be considered the greatest boxer right now in the game today. How the hell can you discredit Andre Ward? I will repeat these names to you again. Go look up their fights for 2012. Andre Ward, Bam Bam Rios, Mike Alvarado, Juan Manuel Marquez, Sergio Martinez. These dudes who engaged in battle. These dudes who gave us the fight of the year. Each one of those these fighters that I labeled, you can correct it. you can watch those fights and you can have a debate as who is the great fight of 2012 and you mean to tell me that if you go back and look at Nonito Donaire's fights of 2012 you're gonna tell I guarantee you you will not find one that can be considered fight of the year he is not fighter of the year and the blatant disrespect to Juan Manuel Marquez that is it for me that is it for me I'm finished. And for you guys on here, man, this, 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 I, I swear, you know what, what set some fire off in my belly, man, when it came to this? Was you guys with this Larry Merchant crap, man. Some of you guys I respect, man. And y'all putting out videos talking about, you know, Larry Merchant for whatever he did. You know, he's still a boxing historian. No, man. See, I'm the type of person that I think I, I respect the guys, the journalists, the commentators that are consistent. That speak the truth always. That are unbiased. Whatever Larry Merchant did. Years ago. 
He discredited himself, as far as I'm concerned, the last 10, 12 years in the sport of boxing. So for me, what he did in the last 12 years makes what he, whatever he did prior seem like a distant memory. He has blatantly disrespected professionals in the ring, outside the ring. He has pumped his own personal opinions, trying to sway fans. That's not a, that's not a journalist. A journalist reports what's really going on. A journalist has a moral and ethical ob- obligation to the people who read or listen to him to speak the truth, to report what's really going on. The guy was crap. The guy has been crap. I've watched this man blatantly disrespect George Foreman when George Foreman used to, re- used to be on a commentator crew. Blatantly disrespect Lennox Lewis. You know, these guys who actually laced up the gloves. This man is not a real journalist in the sport of boxing. He is not a real commentator in the sport of boxing. Y'all got to wake up, man. That's all I'm going to say, man. I'm, I'm, my thing is, is just this is the, the nail, the final nail in the coffin top. I am lower in the casket in the grave. I'm going to put the dirt over it, put a tombstone on it. I'm officially done with HBO and HBO boxing. I will no longer promote them as far as bringing their name up. We already know that Jim Lampley's a racist pig. We already know that Max Kellerman was just a second coming of Larry Merchant. We already know that, you know, Roy Jones is going to do what he can to keep his job. And that means if he's got to suck some cock, he's going to suck some cock on national television. Because no commentator that ever really spoke the truth has stayed on HBO for too, mu- too long. And if you think I'm lying, go back and research just tw- 10, 20 years ago how many commentators they went through. And when these guys spoke the truth, they got rid of their ass. The only reason they didn't get rid of, huh, you know, the late, great Emmanuel Stewart is because Emmanuel Stewart had too many HBO fighters under his, in his camp. And you got to sit there and say this, no disrespect to Emmanuel Stewart. I love him dearly. He was an all-time great trainer, but he was on the Pacquiao cock for, for, for a long time. And if you guys remember, towards the end, when he started to report on Manny Pacquiao, he started to buy into the freaking Kool-Aid. But see, a lot of you guys, man, you got, I don't get it with y'all, man. How y'all going to sit here and forget about that? Like, how are you guys going to sit there and forget the HBO? Man, they got some turncoats in the, in the, on their staff. Guys who, when they start off, they start speaking the truth. But halfway through their career commentating with them, they do what they can. Because you know why? HBO goes to them and tells them, listen, you want to keep your job? You need to start pumping what we want you to talk about. It's like that shitty-ass male view ESPN first take. Stephen A., I used to respect this dude. I used to respect him, but a lot of you guys don't even know. Stephen A. only primarily used to talk about basketball. And this man used to write and report about the right things. But as soon as he got hooked up with first take, dudes start being a cheerleader. Start being, again, I call him the Whoopi Goldberg of the view, man. You look at these guys, man, now. It's sports reporting is no longer sports reporting as it was of old. It's now about some soap opera bullshit and pumping and, and regurgitating the same shit over and over and over again. Now we're going to get forced down our throats, Nonito Donaire. And the sad thing is, Nonito Donaire, if he had fought Manny Pacquiao, he's a way better boxer than Manny Pacquiao. He probably would have hurt the shit out of Pacquiao if they fought at a legitimate weight. Yes, I said it. And that's even with me saying that the dude couldn't put away tomato cans. But, you know, at least it would have been a way better competitive fight. But he's got better boxing skills, boxing skills and better talent. Man, y'all need to, man, I, I'm, telling, I'm disappointed with a lot of you guys, man. Disappointed. Oh, let me know what y'all think. I know I'm going to take heat for this, but I don't care. I don't really care. I don't really care, man. It is what it is. I'm always going to speak my mind. But I'm always going to, my thing is I respect consistency. Be consistent. You didn't like this dude when he was commentating? 
You damn sure don't like them now. Stop trying to be, oh, well, you know, I'm going to be diplomatic. Oh, you know, well, hey, you know, oh, although he said this, uh, he still was this. No, nah, man. Dude, dude straight disrespected his entire career by the way he performed and acted at fights. Jim Lampley, how can you even consider this dude a, a, a commentator, a journalist, a boxing historian, when he skews information? Boxing historian means this guy reports on history. You know who was a boxing historian? Burt Sugar was a boxing historian. Burt Sugar told it like it was. <laughs> man, I'm, I'm finished, man. I'm out. Peace.